eight of the nine measures that we track on a regular basis for the Denver metro housing market turned to buyer's market territory in August of 2023. Hey, it's Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, and bringing you the latest market report for the Denver metro market, seven county area. And uh, again, we're talking about some of these metrics that are turning a little bit south for sellers, yet at the same time, a little bit better if you're considering buying a home. So whether you're selling a home or buying a home or selling a home to buy a home, this is the data that you need to know to figure out when the best time for you to enter the market might be. As I mentioned, there are nine key metrics that we track on a regular basis uh, to gauge the health of the real estate market. And of the nine, eight of them turn towards the favor of the buyer. So let me break it down for you a little bit deeper. Average and median days on market. Both those numbers went up 11% and 14% respectively. So the average home was on the market for 31 days last month. Median time on market was 16. Now, make no mistake, that's still very fast and still very much a uh, seller's market kind of measure. Yet at the same time, that is, let's see, the fifth consecutive month that the number went up for both of those. New listings went up uh, slightly, 2%, 5223, 5,223 properties hit the market in that seven county Denver Metro market last month. And available homes went up by 7%, going from just shy of 7,000 to almost 7,500 homes available as of measuring this on September 1st. Purchase contracts on, conversely went down 7%. That is uh, after a 7.3% drop in July. And so that marks four straight months of declining purchase contracts. Interesting. The average price, this is what closed in the month of August. Average price down 1%. Median price down 3%. That's uh, notable. Going from 600 to 585 on the median selling price. So either that's um, you know an indicator that some of these la or leading measures, sorry, these lagging measures are catching up, meaning the pricing, or it was just a string of luck that the of the uh, 4,000 homes that sold were cheaper than the month before. And check this out. The median sold price to list price ratio went from 100 to 99. Not a big drop, yet that is indicating that buyers are taking a little bit of the power back in this market um, tug of war. So to recap, Eight of nine measures are pushing not in the favor of sellers, but more towards the favor of buyers. Still not buyer's market territory by any means, yet it's something to continue to watch because this is the first time since we've made these videos and tracked these numbers going back years, and you know, basically to the start of the pandemic, that eight of nine went in against the seller. Uh, normally, we see that about 50-50. Even last month, uh, July was, let's see, three measures were in favor of the seller. So if you want, th let me back up a second. This is a macro level look. Again, seven county metro area. That's a br really broad area. Some markets are behaving completely different than others. So if you're looking for a more accurate story of what's happening in your market or in your town or your neighborhood, your home's value, reach out because we can pull these numbers any, any which way from Sunday and geek out all day with this stuff. This is, again, a monthly segment where we break down 30, 31 days worth of data. We do this uh, uh, on a weekly basis. Really, we do this on a daily basis for those who reach out and ask. So I appreciate you watching. Again, my name is Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group. And this has been the Denver Metro Market in a Minute. I know we're coming up on four minutes plus here yet. Thanks for spending those four minutes with us here. And if you like this sort of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell until it goes ding. And we'll see you in the next Denver Metro Market in a Minute uh, when we talk about September numbers next month in October. Thanks for watching. Take care.